Hello everybody, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use uh, the transform and transition properties to create uh, some sort of curve uh, animation or motion. So the idea is coming from material design movement section and how one can create a curve motion. Uh, so we're going to be building this kind of animation as you can see over here and uh, tomorrow I'm going to follow this up by creating a, an awesome uh, menu reveal animation so stay tuned until tomorrow as well and let's get started please uh, if you like this tutorial you know like and share and you know if you haven't subscribed please subscribe as well all right I'm going to start by creating a div called box and then I'm going to give it a class of box here in my CSS section. I will give it a width of 60 pixel and height of 60 pixel, give it a background of uh, white and then uh, maybe a border radius. Uh, 2 pixel just to make it visible I'm gonna give my body a background of gray now you can see the box over here I'm gonna give it a position fixed and then bottom 10 pixel and then left also 10 pixel so you can see that this box the position is fixed on the screen meaning that regardless if you scroll or not this is going to stay over here and the from the bottom is 10 pixel and from the left it's 10 pixel as well right so what I will do is that I will add my transformation on the class open on my box so I'll give it a transform translate maybe 160 pixel uh, on the x-axis and mon minus 160 pixel on the y-axis so basically it's supposed to come 160 pixel here and then 160 pixel there right and in order to create so I'm gonna click on this and the transformation will start so I'm going to create jQuery uh, in my JavaScript panel and then when the page loads what I want to do is that I want to select my box using the box CSS selector and then on my click I pass a function and then within that function I will say uh, add class on my box class on my box class or the element that has the box class add the class open right so what is supposed to happen is that when I click on this it should go 160 pixel and minus 160 pixel you can see that it does it but to create an animation uh, you need to give the transition property I'm going to use the transition on my transform and then I will make it one second right so if I click on this you can see that you have this animation which is a translate animation for one second right so as you can see just just add another class called cursor point another CSS cursor pointer so it actually shows that you need to click on it and then in order to again click it so that it goes back I will change this instead of add class I will toggle the class using jQuery so you can see that it has this kind of animation but as you but as you notice uh, the animation is going towards a pretty straight line right and that's not what we want it doesn't matter if you change this uh, X and Y to something else it will always be a straight line right so how can we achieve 
this kind of animation which goes on a curve in order to do that it's actually pretty easy what you need to do is add another uh, division and then put the box inside that so you create a container and then you put the box inside that and then what you want to do is that for the container class what you do you will move the position and the left and right to the container as you can see it pretty much does the same thing because I move the container I've made it position fixed and then the bottom and the left exactly like the box and since it's the container for our, for our box the box actually moves down there right and then what I want to do is that on my open class I will actually translate actually transform translate this time I will translate X meaning only on X axis for the container so I will translate it to let's say 160 pixel and then I will change my box open transform as well instead of X I'm gonna change it to Y right and remove the X part so what happens is that when I add and I will obviously I need to change this because now I'm I will be clicking on the container and also I need to change the box open like this so when my container adds the class open then I want my box to transform uh, translate Y going up my min minus 160 pixel right so what I do here is that I changed this I added a container class I will move the container right 160 pixel on X and at the same time I ask my box to go minus 160 pixel uh, on Y axis or uh, going up uh, 160 pixel right so what happens right now when I click on it you will see this animation happens but that's not what, what what I want right what I want to do is that uh, I would like this as well to have the transition property on the container class right and you can see that the timings are the same so both my container and my box will transform one second on the container when I add the class open what happens it translates itself 160 pixel on the x-axis and my box right will translate minus 160 pixel on y-axis meaning that it goes up so you can see that uh, well let's see why it only has the open on the box class right let's check because this is trans 4 right so you can see that you pretty much get the same animation but now you have two controls actually so one is the container and the other one is the box now what happens if I change one of these from one second to something lower what you will see is some sort of a curve animation as you can see right so meaning that for the container class when I add the open class when it translates on the x-axis it takes less amount of time than my box going my minus 160 pixel on the y-axis right that's why you get this kind of nice curve animation and you can always play with this if you make it too for example you're gonna have a very very sharp curve over here and if you change it to 0 0.5 which is half you pretty much have exactly kind of the same animation that you can see here so the curve is kind of very smooth so as long as one is half of the other one you kind of get this cool kind of curvy animation so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I will share the uh, prototype as always in the description of this video 
and just shoot me any questions you have and stay tuned for tomorrow so that, uh, when when I create the uh, other uh, tutorial which this guy will be a menu button and you click and it kind of reveals a very nice menu so please subscribe to my channel and like and share and see you tomorrow have a good day and night bye